Yo, yeah, what's up guys, Zarkus here, back with some more Survivor gameplay. Today I'm playing with my clan again, um, TBC, so we had uh, uh, Eric as uh, as forward, uh, Joe's Leon as Explorer, and Fred as Merc, and then obviously me as Seer. I called out that she spawned at Shack and was heading towards Golkite, and uh, so Eric got to, got to Golkite and then uh, abused it for a bit, because you would, because it's a good kite. Uh, so I think she attempted to get a statue on him. Uh, but doesn't really push it too far and then she leaves him and heads off to factory He calls out she's going to factory and uh, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get out of here early I go upstairs because it's a pretty broken loop um, although Sorry, the sculptor is actually pretty good With these windows because she can block them off the bleh, block them off with her statues and she gets a good statue on me there I use my owl early because I don't want to I don't want to be one hit and it's in um, one regular attack hit uh, so I then uh, I take these the jump down and I head back off to uh, this area behind factory which is actually a really strong area especially for transitioning and just uh, putting distance between you and the hunter but that's not what I use it for here I use it to loop here and uh, <clears throat> she maybe should have got hit on me there but uh, we're not going to complain we'll, we'll keep doing our thing we're going to continue looping this she's not going to take that pallet down so I'm going to abuse it until she does take it down um, she tries to statue me and gets a good statue off of me there. And uh, so I head into this this corner here. Now, this corner is known as shit corner. And in my opinion, it's actually a really good corner. You've got two windows and a pallet, and in, it's quite a nice loop as well. Because it's not your typical sort of TNL walls loop. So I said that by daylight term. But it's not, it's not your typical sort of walls. It's got... There's extra bits to it, so it's actually a really uh, like interesting loop. Uh, so I end up abusing this for a bit, and I think it's an, a really good loop when you have the pallet up. When the pallet goes down, it's a bit weaker, um, quite a lot weaker. So that's why when I threw the pallet down, I got out of there instantly. But uh, I don't do that yet. So for now, I keep I keep using this. Uh, I keep vaulting these windows. I don't really need the boost. That was really close, by the way. But I don't really need the boost at this point because I vault faster than her, and I've got distance between us. So as she comes around now, and I, th I see she's getting close, so I throw the pallet down, and uh, as you can see, I'm close to another owl, so I get off to this area over here. She gets a statue on me just here, I think. Yep, uh, a good statue on her end. I don't throw the pallet down because I thought she'd hit through it, which she did. Uh, and then I head back off into this area here, and I'm like, she won't try and statue me because I'm one statue, so she'll try and make it hit me, so I use my owl. Get the owl off and head back into factory, and look at that, we're down to one cipher just like that. We've got a Merc, a Ford, and Explorer, and we're down to one cipher already. Just, yeah, that says it all. I head off um, upstairs, you know, with plenty of distance between me and her, and, I, and then she gives up on me. Four cipher kite, that's pretty much GG's at this point, uh, unless we really throw. So, uh, Eric and uh, Fred are down here. Fred Elwood pads away, although not great, not very good on her, <laughs> to be fair. But uh, she, she goes for Eric, and uh, Eric decides to lead her out of here, and... Uh, Joe Zeon's getting a, uh, he's digging for treasure, I think, <laughs> I think, I think that's what he's doing at this point, um, point, uh, so me and Fred are going to get the cypher done, and he says to us, just get it to about 70, and then it's primed, because I could just use my thing, so we're like, cool, so me and Fred, we're healing up first, uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, and then we're going to start decoding the cypher, so Eric takes a hit here, and goes back behind factory again, and, uh, we're, we're like, the cypher's at, what, 50, 40, 50? And uh, we put some distance between us and the sculptor just in case she does decide to come in. But she doesn't, she stays on Eric. Goes off on him in this area here. And uh, he buys enough time, all he needs to buy is sort of like 10, 20 seconds. Uh, so yeah, so he comes, he comes, he continues kiting there. Josion's coming in with his uh, password book thing. <clears throat> Eric buys enough time, and he's about to get down here. Or, or very soon, and uh, uh, and then we've got the cipher primed. So I head off to factory gate. Uh, cipher gets popped. I'm doing factory gate. Fred heads off to shack gate, and boom! Look at that. <clears throat> it's going all well so far. So Eric goes upstairs into uh, factory, and uh, sculptor's like, "Nah, I'm not going to chase that because it's a broken loop." Um, so she ends up going for Josie on, and uh, he's he sticks around shack. And I think I leave fairly soon, so I don't see his perspective. But I can tell you, we all we all escape, and I'll prove it at the end. Um, he gets a palace on her fairly close to the gate, and then just runs to the gate. 
But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.